Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sara Babur and I am from BSPT and the topic of my presentation is Climatic Changes and Biodiversity. So first of all we, would, we will talk about the points we will discuss in this presentation topic that will be climatic change, factors affecting climatic change, effects of climatic change, biodiversity, factors affecting biodiversity and impacts of climatic change on biodiversity. So the first topic of our presentation is climatic change. The word climate refers to the long-term weather patterns within a defined region including temperature, humidity, wind and amount of type of precipitation. While the term weather refers to hourly, daily or weekly changes in the atmosphere. Climate is generally discussed in terms of year, decades, uh, centuries in millennia. Climate is statistical description in terms of means and variability of key weather parameters for a given area. For a given area over a period of time, usually about 30 years. So, today the commonly used term climate change represents any change in climate over time, whether due to natural causes or as a result of human activities. As climate has changed throughout Earth's history, all living creatures have had to adapt, move or die out. When these changes happen, gradually ecosystem and species are able to evolve together. But when the change happens very quickly like it is today, the ability of species to adapt quickly enough or relocate, assuming a suitable location exists is a big concern. Factors The factors involved in climatic changes are discussed below. Number one is GAGS, which are greenhouse gases, rising temperature, emission from volcanoes, ocean currents and elevation, latitude, and continent continentality. The number one point is ocean currents. Ocean currents uh, can increase or decrease temperature. The main ocean current that affects the UK, United Kingdom, is the Gulf Stream. It is a warm ocean in the north atlantic flowing from go from the gulf of mexico uh, the gulf of mexico uh, has higher temperature than britain as it is closer to the equator that means the air coming from the gulf of mexico to britain is also warm and uh, it is also quite moist so this is the uh, one of the reason why britain often receives wet weather the shape of the land which is also known as relief climate can be affected by mountains they receive more rainfall than low-lying low areas because uh, as air is forced over the higher ground, it cools, causing moist air to condense and falls out as rainfall. The higher the place is to the sea level, the colder it will be. This happens as altitude increases, air becomes thinner and is less able to retain and absorb heat. Number three po uh, point is distance from the equator. It affects the climate of the place at the poles uh, energy from the sun reaches the earth's surface at lower angles and passes through a thicker layer of atmosphere than at the equator this means that the climate is cooler further from the equator next point is continentality which is also known as distance from the sea so the sea affects the climate of a place coastal areas are cooler and wetter than inland areas Cloud forms when warm air from inland areas meet cool air from the sea. The center of the continents are subject to a large range of temperatures. Second point is GHGS, greenhouse gases, another major reason to implicate human or anthropogenic activities for climatic change is the fact that these are closely linked to carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and other greenhouse gases known to trap the heat from solar radiation in the upper layers of the atmos earth atmosphere earth atmosphere traps energy from the sun as heat and keeps our planet warm through a process called greenhouse effect naturally occurring ghgs are oxygen carbon dioxide methane and water vapor are responsible for a slow increase in earth temperature which is necessary but now human activities have caused a continuous significant increase in the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Rising temperature 
As Earth warms and temperature increases, regional climates are affected, affected in different ways. Some areas of South and Southeast Asia are experiencing heavier monsoons and rising sea levels, while other areas such as Southern Africa and American Southwest are experiencing more severe droughts and crop failure. Reduced snowpack and shrinking glacier in the mountains mean less melting snow flowing into river reservoirs and lakes for fish and wildlife and less available for drinking and irrigation. Impact of climatic changes. It may aggravate erosion, decline in organic matter, salinization, soil biodiversity loss, landslides, desertification, flooding, declining in water supplies, increased wildfires. So the next topic of presentation is biodiversity. So biodiversity is the shortened form of two words, biological and diversity. It refers to all the variety of life that can be found in Earth as well as the communities that they form and the habitat in which they live. It is a variation among living organisms from different sources including marine, terrestrial and desert ecosystem and the ecological complexes of which they are a part. Without biodiversity, life would not sustain. It is important in natural as well as artificial ecosystem. It deals with the nature's variety, the biosphere, biodiversity holds ecological and economic significance. It provides us with nourishment, housing, fuel, clothing and several other resources. Types of Biodiversity There are following three types of biodiversity, genetic biodiversity, species diversity and ecological diversity. The number one is genetic diversity. It refers to the variation among genetic resources of the organism. Every individual of a particular species differ from each other in the genetic constitution. That is why every human looks different from each other. Similarly, there are different varieties in the same species of rice, wheat, maize and barley, etc. Second point is ecological diversity. An ec ecosystem is a collection of living and non-living objects and their interaction with each other or the environment. It refers to the variation in the plant and animal species living together and connected by food chains and food webs. It is the diversity observed among the different ecosystems in a region, diversity in different ecosystems like desert, deserts, rainforests, mangroves, etc. Species diversity. It refers to the variety of different types of species found in a particular area. It is the biodiversity at the most basic level. It includes all the species ranging from plants to different microorganisms. No two individuals of the same species are exactly similar to each other. Importance of climate, uh, biodiversity is number one is economic importance. Biodiversity is a reservoir of resources for the manufacture of food, cosmetic products, and pharmaceuticals. Crops, livestock, uh, fishery, and forest are a rich source of food. Wild plants like cinchona and foxglove plants are used for medical purposes. Wood. Fibers, perfume, lubricants, rubber, resins, and poisons are all derived from different plant species. The national parks and sanctuaries are a source of tourism, the source of beauty and joy for many people, and it is very benefit uh, in the basis of monetarily profits. Ethical importance: all the species have a right to exist. Humans should not cause their voluntary extinction. Biodiversity preserves different culture and spiritual heritage therefore it is very important to conserve biodiversity ecological stability every species has a specific role in an ecosystem they capture and store energy and also produce and decompose organic matter the ecosystem supports the services without which human can't survive a diverse ecosystem is more productive and can withstand environmental stress the threats to biodiversity are habitat destruction or which is also known as deforestation. Second point is introduced and invasive species. Third one is genetic pollution. Fourth one is over exploitation. Fifth one is hybridization. Then climate, climate change, human overpopulation and diseases. Impacts of climatic change and biodiversity. 
Number one is ocean uh, acidification. We can blame only ourselves for the 30% drop in the pH of the oceans. They absorb nearly a third of the carbon released in the atmosphere through human activity. This acidification renders some uh, crustaceans and co coral unable to produce their protective shells and skeleton. Coral reefs serve as habitat for thousands of marine species, are, and the marine species are being destroyed due to bleaching due to the ocean acidification. This destruction is a threat to entire ecosystem, humans included. Second one is extreme weather events, massive heat waves, and droughts have already grown uh, more prevalent across the globe, expected to become more severe in, if the warming trend continues. In droughts, areas the ex habitats are altered and plant and forest suffer from the lack of water, increased wildfire activity due to hot and dry conditions. It poses a risk for uh, safety of wildlife. Stronger and more frequent storms affect the distribution and concentration of the lowlings on the marine food chain. Third one is melting sea ice. Arctic temperature rises twice as quickly as the rest of the world and sea ice is melting at an alarming rate. Some of the world's iconic species like polar bears, ringed seals, emperor, penguins, and beluga whales all face distinct pressure due to the melting sea ice. Impact of climatic changes on plants and animals Climate change alters the life cycle of plants and animals. Such as temperature gets warmer and warmer, many plants started to grow and bloom earlier in the spring and survive longer into the fall. Some animals are walking from hibernation sooner or migrating at different times too. More frequent storms, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers and intense troughs can directly harm animals and the places where they live and wreak havoc on people's livelihoods and communities. The effects of climatic change on humans These changes have led to the emergence of large-scale environmental hazards to human health, such as extreme weather, ozone depletion, increased danger of wildfires, loss of biodiversity, stress, of, uh, stress, stress to produce foods, and the global spread of infectious diseases. It affects and human health and well-being through more extreme weather events and wildfires, decreased air quality, diseases transmitted by insect, food or water. And the effect of climatic change on marine life is it is likely to alter the pattern of wind and water circulation in the ocean environment. Such changes may influence the vertical movement of ocean water, increasing or decreasing the availability of essential nutrients and oxygen to marine organisms. The impact of climatic changes on wildlife and forest are climate change could alter the frequency and intensity of forest disturbance, such as insects break out, invasive species, wildfires and storms. This disturbance can reduce forest productivity and change the distribution of tree species. In some cases, forest can recover from a disturbance. Ways to reduce the negative impact of climatic change. So, following are the ways to reduce the negative impact of climatic change, such as encouraging a move away from strat uh, static targets of, for biodiversity conservation, ensuring climatic change adaptation activities are integrated across as many sectors or ministries as possible while avoiding conflicting targets. Incorporating climate change prediction and vulnerability assessment into national and local protected area policy and land use management policies. Ensuring that any impact that, that are understood in terms of ecosystem services loss so that they can be incorporated into poverty reduction strategies. That's all for this topic. I hope you will like that. Thank you.